Trump supporters aren't the only ones making their voices heard. Biden supporters gather in downtown Los Angeles to advocate for a different message. Madison plans on incorporating vintage jeans from the 80s to her company. The Biden campaign says a third recount will again show the president-elect won. Son las nueve de la noche y la gente sigue llegando para recordar a Vanessa Guillén. It is still unclear when in-person learning will begin. In North Hollywood, I'm Liliana Ramirez reporting for Valley View News. Republicans show their support for Donald Trump on the election evening. They demonstrate their solidarity by gathering in Beverly Hills. Pro-Trump supporters are very confident that the Republican candidate will win the election again. I support Trump because I support everybody's freedom and rights. I love America. I love everything that it was uh, founded on and started on and it gives everybody the most freedom in the world. The pro-Trump protest was a peaceful one until a couple of anti-Trump supporters arrived. They shouted many negative things about the president. Police and SWAT cars were involved. That didn't stop supporters from expressing their political views. We are going to see a beautiful four more years. Some Republican supporters say they want Donald Trump to win the election so they won't have to pay higher taxes. President Trump, I would love to tell you that I love you very much. I support you. I've never been a political person and in all my life, all the years that I could have voted, I was always told why would you vote? Your vote doesn't count and it doesn't matter. Let's keep it, keep it going and keep it strong. Well, Trump supporters aren't the only ones making their voices heard. Biden supporters gather in downtown Los Angeles to advocate for a different message. In Beverly Hills, I'm Liliana Ramirez reporting for Valley View News. Thousands of people from the Armenian community and supporters protested to show solidarity with Armenia. They gathered at Pan Pacific Park in Los Angeles. Now we're demanding against two things, one against the two regimes, Turkey and Azerbaijan, to stop their invasion in Artsakh. Artsakh's population is 99% Armenian. The people want peace and they made it clear to the international community who has been uh, remaining silent in terms of the violence that have been occurring within the region. Reports say Azerbaijan is bombing civilians, churches and schools, killing many civilians. They're telling everyone that Armenia is the aggressor, even though the population of Armenia is just 3 million people, when the population of Azerbaijan and Turkey together is like 90 million people, and Armenia can't be the aggressor of that. The Armenian community says it wants peace. They want the war against Artsakh to stop, and they also want Artsakh to be recognized as a country. These protesting Armenians say they want to make it clear that they aren't the offenders. The United States must stand with Armenia, Artsakh, and the Armeni Armenian Americans because this aggression smells of the genocide of a century ago. The Armenian community is determined to protest every single day until their voices are heard and see change. In Los Angeles, I'm Liliana Ramirez reporting for Valley View News. The Los Angeles community gathered one year after the death of Army soldier Vanessa Guillen in Fort Hood, Texas. They held a candlelight vigil in her honor. All of the musicians, dancers, and food caterers donated their time and services to show their support. You know, she dedicated her life basically to serve the Army, serve the United States, and you know, she wasn't, uh, she wasn't respected, she wasn't well taken care of. Vanessa Guillen was murdered on Fort Hood's military base. Just one month before her disappearance, Army soldier Enrique Martinez was also murdered. He was serving in North Carolina. His sister Grisela Martinez explains how she learned about Vanessa Guillen's case. It's on Facebook a post about a girl named Vanessa Guillen who was missing. And I just thought, I really hope they find her. People here say they want change. They're seeking legislation to pass the Vanessa Guillen Act. The act would ensure the safety of soldiers who report sexual misconduct inside the military. We want that act to pass, that I am Vanessa Guillen Act, not only for Vanessa, but we also want that full-on investigation for the family. It's 9 p.m. here in Los Angeles and the community is still arriving to pay their respect to Vanessa Guillen after her one year anniversary. 
I'm Liliana Ramirez reporting for Valley View News. Any questions about the stuff we're doing in language arts? Virtual learning is still taking place at many schools around the world because of the global pandemic. At our men's elementary school in North Hollywood, it's called online. Fifth grade teacher Morris McCormick says online instruction is the hardest way to teach students. The lack of computer literacy in the students, uh, probably even more that same lack of computer literacy with parents and their ability to help their children if they can even be there to help their children. Mother of three, Monica Flores' son is being taught online. Flores prefers her son to be taught face-to-face -face with his teacher. She says online learning isn't effective. It only distracts her son from paying attention. Even though I try my best to have him at a quiet space by himself, there's so many distractions for them. Teachers also say learning online doesn't provide the same benefits a student receives from in-person instruction. Our Mint Elementary's principal, Renee Ramirez, says students need to learn social skills. Social skills are missed with online learning. The students are missing out on that social uh, nexus that they form with their classmates and their teacher. It is still unclear when in-person learning will begin. In North Hollywood, I'm Liliana Ramirez reporting for Valley View News. No strict enforcement rules have been set down. California's coronavirus rate is among the nation's highest. Drug maker AstraZeneca just made the third COVID-19 vaccine that's shown effective against the virus. It's 70% effective. It may become the standard vaccine for the developing world.